To be honest, before shooting this video, I didn't really find the appearance of the PT-17 aircraft particularly appealing. Because in this era, dominated by jet planes, people generally prefer streamlined fuselages, swept back wings, and jet engines. And this PT-17, as a propeller-driven biplane two-seater trainer from the early World War II period, is more likely to appeal to the older generation of flying masters rather than to the younger generation like us. However, one day, when I was browsing the official website looking for the main subject of this video, I discovered that the PT-17's wing loading is only 56 grams per square decimeter. What does this mean? In an era where model aircraft typically have a wing loading of 70 to 80 grams per square decimeter, there is a plane with an even lower wing loading. This means it will have a lower flight speed, better takeoff and landing performance, and more agile maneuverability. To explore whether this plane's flight performance is as good as theoretically suggested, we created this 3D printed PT-17 Steerman. Of course, before the video starts, we would like to express our gratitude to Flashforge Technology for supporting our channel. Flashforge Technology, with 12 years of experience in 3D printer development, has perfected both the quality and cost-effectiveness of their 3D printers. If you, like me, are a geek who only pursues 3D printing quality, then the Flashforge AD5M would be my top recommendation. Now, without further ado, let us get into the next part. Regarding this airplane, there are actually quite a few points to criticize. First of all, in the assembly part. The assembly of this airplane provides very few alignment points or reference points for players, especially for parts like the wings. If you want to align them with others, you might even need to manually align them. If you have already applied the glue and are ready to assemble the parts, you might find, oh. If you haven't aligned the wings, then basically the wings are in an unusable state. At this point, you would need to redo all the parts you previously assembled, which is very troublesome. When talking about the alignment, what struck me the most was the assembly of the upper wings. This assembly is very troublesome. You need to align each point of the rods and then insert the paper clip and, and it's done blindly. You can find an alignment or a reliable point to connect it. Therefore, this part feels quite redundant to me. Especially every time I go to the field, I need to disassemble the plane, take it to the field, and during reassembly, this process actually consumes a lot of our team's time. This assembly could be slightly optimized, but it seems it hasn't been done well. Or perhaps they never even considered that this thing could be disassembled, which would be my issue. But after mentioning so many complaints, what actually attracts me is its landing gear part. You can see here on the PT-17 aircraft, its landing gear is equipped with a shock absorption mechanism. And this shock absorption mechanism is entirely 3D printed. From its sleeve, to its crankshaft, and even its spring, all are completed through 3D printing. And this mechanism is also very reliable in actual flight. Of course, besides that, I find it even more interesting that their wheels are also designed as a completely printed structure. You can find that the hub part of the wheel is actually composed of an oversized bearing. This bearing not only includes its inner and outer shafts, but also contains the balls inside. Although there is still a bit of resistance when it operates, to put it more diplomatically, it indirectly enhances the deceleration effect of the aircraft during landing. Now that we've finished discussing the landing gear, let's turn our attention to the engine at the front. Here, it replicates the appearance of the PT-17's engine as it should be in reality, although it's fake. In the part of the motor mount, it offers players two options. The first option is a front-mounted motor. The motor mount offers a rear-mounted motor option as well, allowing players to change the installation method of the motor mount based on their choice of motor. However, personally, I think the rear-mounted engine might slightly affect cooling. But whatever. Since I didn't install the rear-mounted one anyway, I'm using the front-mounted one. As for the aircraft hatch, I think 3D Lab Print has designed a very clever device. They designed an air intake at the front of the aircraft's nose as a sliding mechanism. 
By pushing the sliding mechanism back, you can open the hatch to replace the battery. We've talked so much about the details of this aircraft, but how well does it actually fly? Our studio ultimately gave this aircraft an overall rating. First, regarding its printing time, it took a total of 64 hours, approximately three days of printing. The assembly time was four hours, although it might take a bit longer since we did make some mistakes during the process. The printing cost is $80, and the total cost of the entire aircraft is $160. Flight stability, eight points. Maneuverability, nine points. Of course, here you can compare the ratings in this video with previous videos for reference. So at this point in the video, whether the PT-17 Stearman is easy to fly, I believe you should have an answer in your mind. If this video has helped you understand 3D printed model aircraft and the PT-17 to some extent, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also a big thank you to Flashforge Technology for supporting our channel. This is Kitty Studio, thank you all for watching.